Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. And I'm doing this video because today, the DV Lottery 2026 uh, started officially October the 2nd to November 2020, uh, November the 5th, 2024. So, <coughs> I've been getting some information on uh, comment section about people having problems in filling the DV lottery. So that's why I wanted to uh, show you this uh, demo on how to navigate and how to fill some of the parts correctly to increase your chances of uh, winning. First of all, the website you are going to go into before you start anything make sure it says uh, up here dv program dot state dot gov <coughs> excuse me which is a government uh, website if you find something saying dot net or dot com uh, you have to ignore that so once you go to the website you can get that portal from uh, the comment uh, description section of my video so you can click there right now so i urge you guys to subscribe share like so that every video i do you can go there direct so i'm going to uh, pin that in the description section so you can go there and uh, once you click on it it's gonna open a page like this so at the top here is gonna say diversity feature program and uh, the welcome in the here it has to say uh, the department website for the dv diversity visa this one is now open <coughs> make sure this is an authentic website and uh, uh, all the information from there okay so after reading the instructions uh, you are going to click the the, the the pattern to start so the instructions are here if you wanted to read the instructions but for the purpose of this video we don't have time for for the instructions they are self-explanatory but you have to read them and the photo instructions before beginning the process verify that your picture and the picture for the uh, dependents full comply with dv photo requirements I've done a lot of videos explaining that and uh, your case will be disqualified if you submit non-compliance. For example, accept the photos, you can click <coughs> on the pattern here to see what kind of uh, uh, photos are accepted. So for example, if I clicked here, it will show you the photos which are accepted the photos are down here accept the photos for example these ones these are the ones accepted and uh, there's a check mark here and if you wanted to click on one of them to see the size it will show you everything the, the ones with the uh, <coughs> the ones with an uh, X, those ones are not accepted. They don't uh, comply. And this is the photo tool you can use. So I'm going to put these uh, links over there. So if you want it, before you apply, you can check them out. So once you check and read the instructions, <coughs> we go back to the entry form itself. This form is prepared in two parts. The first part is the entrant uh, for deliberatives, if any, and the age must be completed uh, must be completed uh, before going to the next one. So the computer is not gonna uh, allow you to jump from part one, go to part two. So it has to go in a system. So once you are here, what you have to do. 
is to click the entry and this is where if you did from last year results you wanted to check the results so the, the you have to click here and then you can put your confirmation number and check so for the purpose of this video i'm going to start the begin the entry begin the entry uh, before you begin there is you have to type these characters for authentication so if these characters if you can't uh, see them you can click here v t h y j and then they can uh, speak out the speaker pronounces them and then you can uh, if you can't see them for some reason but i can see them clearly here so this is a nine v t h y and j and then click submit so once we go through you report to this part one entrant and guys this is what i wanted to tell you which is very very important the first section is very important so what i'm advising before you start uh, entering the information like last name first name and a middle name and this is where people make a lot of mistakes <coughs> and some of them are going to be disqualified at uh, the first screening so what you do here the best thing you can do is to get a birth certificate put it aside and look at it uh, don't type the first name where the last name should go or where the middle name don't freeze them you put them in order so if they say the last name you look at their birth certificate the first name and type it and uh, if your first name let's say it was john i mean last name <coughs> was uh uh kamau and the first name is john he has to be like that if you don't have a middle name you leave it out and uh, if you have it you say if your middle name is abc for example you write it like that if you don't have a middle name you simply do a check mark and say you don't have a middle name and uh, use a birth certificate in that way you don't get confused <coughs> so when it comes to gender this is self explanatory you will select your gender over here let me try to scroll up uh, if you are a male or female you will just uh, say you are gender okay your gender and then the date of dates of birth the date of birth uh, the american system they start with the the month the day and the year so then don't confuse if you are from a country for example i know from kenya we start writing the dates starting with the the day and we go to the month and then what the year but the american system you have to what the month for example if we are filling this one in october october you have to say 10 for october and today is the second you can do zero two and today is 20 year 2024 <coughs> so that's the system you have to use because if you flip it you start the date from here say second it will show this is january and the system will just check and then it will disqualify you at the first 
uh, screening. Now, when you have uh, the the city, the city where you are born, uh, the city where you are born is uh, where if you are born, for example, in a hospital, which is in Nairobi, that's where the city you say Nairobi. If you are born in Nakuru, it's where you are born. And this is where uh, people confuse. Uh, write the city where your birth certificate is, you were born in that hospital, and note where you live. So the city where you were born is very different from the city where you live. So the birth city, if for example you were born in Nairobi, you just write Nairobi. If you don't know, you just say path is unknown. Okay? Don't leave everything or don't guess anything. Country where you are, on the country you are born, you select, there's a drop down menu here. You select, and it's a bunch of countries where you are born, and select your country from there. <coughs> Now, uh, the country of eligibility for the DV, the country of eligibility is, um, you would have to uh, read here and say your country of eligibility will normally uh, be the same as your country of birth. And it's not related to where you live right now. So if you're in a country, for example, you're from Kenya, you live in South Africa. So the country of eligibility is the country where you are, you are born, a native country. So you fill out. Are you claiming eligibility based on the country where you are born? So it's a, a yes or a no. If not, then you must have to select the country where you are. Born. Okay. Now, the seventh is the photograph, which is very critical. I've been making videos about uh, the photograph, and this is very, very, very critical. Uh, this is where you have to make sure the photograph you upload to this um, uh, this program. And meets all the qualification. You will use one of the following methods to enter the image into the EDV. Take a new digital image, uh, use a digital uh, scan uh, photograph. Excuse me, guys, one minute. Let me get my charger. My computer. I want the computer to carry me out. <coughs> Maybe get my church. So I'm doing a video. Let me do a video. Let me finish. So a video is doing here. Okay. Uh, let me plug in. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so what I was talking about is, uh, is the photo. So once you, it's going to be a new image, digital, of course, and then, uh, if you wanted to go to the instructions, there's a link here, you have to go to see the instructions. But for the purpose of this video, we don't have enough time. So choose the photo. This is where you go and click here. This one, when you click here, it's going to take you to your computer where it's kept. And you will choose a photo. And then it will be uploaded and it will be shown here. Okay. So I'm not doing this for real. I'm just doing it for a demo. And that's what I'm showing you. The mailing address. Uh, in Ikea, this is optional. If you don't have uh, an address, you can use somebody's address. 
So if you want to use the address for the church or for the school or for somebody, that's where they have in Kel, you know, PO box. The address we have um, address line one. And then we have address nine. number two is optional. We have the city, the city of the address if it is Nakuru or something like that. Then we have the district, the province. So if it's um, Nyansa province, this is where you are going to fill out. And the postal code, if they doesn't have a postal code, I know most countries in Africa or from other countries, we don't have postal code. But in the United States, they have postal codes. Every state has a postal code, every city. So if you don't, you have to click here and say you don't have to. This one can be, it was going to be great. And uh, so that the computer can allow you to move. Because if you leave any information not put together, it will uh, reject to move forward. So you select the country where, you know, <coughs> the country where you, your address is. If it's South Africa, you know, Liberia, wherever country it is, Canada. So you select that. The country where you live today is where you are, for example, you might find if you are from Uganda or from uh, South Africa and you live in uh, Ethiopia. So that's the, where the country, uh, the country you live today. Also, there are some people, for example, who live in the United States and they don't have a developer. Maybe they are students, they want to apply, but um, that's where they say where you are. Okay, uh, the next thing is um, the phone number. So the phone number is the phone number you will be using. Uh, make sure you write it clearly and everything. So that's is a good phone number for correct. In the case they want to reset your password or, or some information, they can text it to you and use but the phone number is actually optional. You don't have to write it if you don't want to or you don't have. But the email address is very, very important. You have to write it down. And make sure you write the right way. That's why they have, you have to confirm. They write the first time, second time you confirm. And uh, this part here, number 12 is very, very, um, number 12 here is very, important for you guys this is where you have to say the education so they want you to select the education and um, the educational levels so they have the educational levels so if they have high school they have and this is what they want you to choose okay and uh, this part here, what is your current status? So this one is either, you know, you have to select one. So if it's right here, you must have done something up here. Okay, let me see what. And uh, actually, that's pretty much. Uh, once you fill all this information, and uh, here they want you to put the number of children. If you have children, number of children. If you have three children, you write them there. And once this section is completely filled out, you can uh, proceed. To the to the other section so you proceed but the computer is not gonna if you do a mistake and this is the part i wanted to see you guys it they will say at least one data validation error occurred which means you didn't put all the information because i wasn't uh, doing for real i'm just doing a demo for you guys and that's the reason why it didn't 
uh, allow me to move forward. But um, because of time and the purpose of this video, I'm not going to take all your time for everything, but you have seen the way the, the application is done. And uh, let me know if you have questions in the comment section. I uh, will be more than happy to answer them. But uh, this is the way it goes. And once you finish at the end, remember to submit your entry. It, the computer will bring a confirmation screen which says the application has been successfully received. And then it will print your name, your email address, and a confirmation number, which is a 16 alphanumeric number, which you have to keep. It's very important because this is the number you are going to use to uh, check your results when uh, the results will be out next year. So, guys, that's what I wanted to tell you. But I'm going to be doing so many videos since we have started this exercise. and. Uh, Check out my channel. Uh, the videos are still be rolling, and uh, turn your notification on. And YouTube will be definitely automatically notify you once I upload a new video to my channel. Thank you so much. Um, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.